Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel for probably one of the most moments that I'm waiting for all week. The most exciting moment of my week comes, why? Because it's a moment where on my channel for one time I can just relax, just moving the images and then we have the leader, the supreme leader Mo El Shahali, how are you my friend? I'm doing great, how are you Giuseppe? I'm doing super great. I'm happy. I'm happy because uh, after Verona, what was absolutely not uh, a moment to be happy, the week closed on Sunday even with the win of Milan, the win of Inter. So I was totally depressed. But then Monday. Monday arrived where it's a new week and we are ready. We are ready because we are playing versus Spezia. So we don't even have to wait one week of depression. We have the occasion to go to the win again. And that's what we need. So I feel excited. I feel pumped. By the way, for people that are watching this evening, or I don't know when you you will watch, but whatever, two hours before the game, we will be on the Twitch channel of Juventus. So it's quite easy. You install Twitch. You write down in the in the small search bar Juventus profile at 7 p.m. I will be there. I will host Spe Juventus Spezia pregame. We will have a really nice time. So be there. I count on you. So I feel gre really great. Did you have some time to prepare Spezia? Because you didn't have a lot of time, Mo. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, so yesterday was Sunday. I worked. I had to work <laughs> yesterday. And then, uh, yeah, I prepared it. I started at 11 p.m., finished at 3 a.m. And then this afternoon as well, I finished work and then I finalized everything and I'm ready. <laughs> it is what it is. Sometimes we have to work harder because the team, they have to work harder as well. Thank you, Mo. Really thank you for it. You So for the people that uh, doesn't know what we do, we go through a bit a part of history that's always really nice to know the nice to know things and then we go to the the ranking we go to the expected 11 the strength the weaknesses the opportunities we really go into the tactics with really beautiful arrows to see where we can win the game hopefully andrea pirlo he can watch the game because the things that mo is finding on the channel is so 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 interesting let's start with the history mo if you are agree yeah absolutely we go Oh, so this will hurt a bit for those who remember that period. That was the summer when we got relegated uh, to Serie B uh, and we played a friendly against Spezia, August 2006. We won 4-1, exactly like our previous game. And Nedved even scored a goal, so this is really important. Ibrahimovic was supposed to play, but he did not show up. And Koboli, who was the president back then, he said, uh, well, you know, he's still our player. He's going to get fine, but he's staying 100%. The other uh, interesting fact, too, is that Deschamps called back Tudor to play uh, with Juventus. And he played in the second half. But uh, Spezia were very aggressive and they injured him. And you know, Tudor is a bull. Like, he was super upset. He was trying to push everyone. Two people needed to calm him down, you know, and and that was it for, for his uh, Juventus journey. He did not play with us after that. Last game of Tudor with Juventus, friendly versus Spezia. By the way, for the people that doesn't know, if you want to know a bit more about Tudor, one of the idols of uh, of Juve Legends, I made a video uh, about it together with my great friend Rocco. Uh, so if you want to, I will post the link. I believe it will be here, right here, here. You will click on it and you will be able to see the video after you see here, because now it's important. Now it's Spezia Juve or Juve Spezia. Mo, we shoot immediately with the ranking. Yeah, we're still third. We're still third. It's very tight. You have Atalanta, same number of points. Roma and Napoli that, and Lazio that can uh, come either higher than Juventus or at the same level. So we have to win for sure. And yeah, we have AC Milan and Inter Milan way ahead, but we can still catch them. I sense a lot of negativity. And guys, the most important thing is we do our very best. We never stop fighting until the end. Until the mathematics says that it's over. Exactly. Import, are there important games? Yeah, so there is Lazio playing. Uh, 
they're close and Napoli too, but I'm, I want to focus on the teams that can either get close to us or surpass us, which is Atalanta against Crotone, Roma against Fiorentina, Milan against Udine, Udinese, and Inter against Parma. So you see, all games are not really difficult for the top six. We have to win tomorrow. Uh, That's the message. Crotone just dismissed their trainer, if I'm not wrong. That's right. Maybe sometimes when that happens, you have a, a boost of a team. Who knows? They can stop Atalanta, even if I'm not really trusting it. But uh, you never know. You never know. By the way, for the small story, for the people that doesn't know, when Mo said that Koboli Gigli affirmed that Ibrahimovic would stay at Juve, Yes, he affirmed it, but uh, Ibrahimovic left. Huh? Just to remember the people that uh, he, he didn't stay. Uh, what well, about I'm the... say where he went. No, he didn't stay. What, 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 what about the prediction of the expected 11 more? I believe Mo, Mo has frozen. Sometimes that happens. So meanwhile, let Mo disconnect and he will connect again. What I want to tell you, because that's also an important one, it's the fact, guys, that uh, we have here... Oh, Mo is back. Mo is back. I'm back. Here we are. Ciao, Mo. <laughs> Ciao. I, I was entertaining the people I wanted to say something. By the way, I will say it anyway. For the people that are doubting these hours here, uh, it's uh, US or Canada or whatever. So don't mind the hours if you are living yeah. in Europe because they change. But we continue with the lineups this time. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly the same one. Uh, the only difference is Danilo instead of Sandro. Mm. We, we don't have a lot of options. McKenny is, uh, is not 100%. Morata, he's not 100%. He's going to be on the bench, hopefully. Uh, Arthur, we have no idea. Dybala, we don't know as well. Mm. So that's it. So the, the, there's no one else. Uh, we have and to rely on, on, on this team there. And Fajoli, he had a, a virus uh, at his stomach, so we don't know if he will be traveled with the team or not. At least the luck that we have is that we play at home, so maybe he will yeah. be uh, on the bench. Morata, last minute chance, maybe, but Pirlo was a bit vague on him, so we are not sure. Let's see, indeed. Uh, but I believe that uh, Demiral can help a lot, especially in defensive phase. But uh, you highlighted Bernardeschi. Why, Mo? I highlighted two persons this time, Danilo ah. and Bernardeschi. They need to coordinate really well. We're going to see why. Uh, Spezia loves attacking on the sides, specifically on the right side. Uh, on the left side, there are issues there, and we saw it against uh, Verona. Chiesa doesn't fall back, so this is a problem. But... Uh, I'm going to need Bernardeschi to help a lot also. Mm. One of the problems last time was on the right side with Chiesa and Demiral. Chiesa was really good in the uh, uh, offensive side, but uh, when it uh, came, especially in the second half, when we were tired, he didn't give the support enough to, to, to Demiral. Uh, people were asking, why did Pirlo change him? This was one of the reasons, because yeah. the support provided by Chiesa was not enough. Probably uh, Chiesa, uh, Pirlo was pissed off, and that's what happened. But... Um, Spezia, a team that is doing quite okay in uh, Serie A for the first time that they are there. How are they, how are they playing? Yeah, uh, typical 4-3-3. They did not change all season, always played 4-3-3. You're going to have a lot of, uh, you're going to see a lot of Estevez and Major uh, playing, you know, advancing a lot inside the box. And we're going to see the strength uh, in detail. And Ferrer and Bastoni. Bastoni is also really interesting. He he provides assists. He scored one goal. So he's a young uh, left back who's who's really uh, we have to keep an eye on him. So so he's uh, he's gonna be dangerous too. But the most important one is Nzola. He scored nine goals for them. Where is uh, Pogba? He's injured. Ah, that's good. Ovega is injured. It's good now because that the, the home game I was comparing them to Pogba and Zola, but uh, no, it's uh, Enzola and Pobega for sure. Uh, yeah. in defense, quite compact, 
and Pobega scored, by the way. I know. I remember, <laughs> unfortunately. Yes. So they're going to still keep the 4-3-3, and I mentioned Bastoni. He's also good uh, in defense. Their defense is actually not that great. Uh, they're quite slow, and we're going to look at that in detail. But uh, Bastoni, he, he provides the most tackles, uh, covering, etc. So Chiesa will have... He, he could have some issues there. I'm not saying that uh, he's going to struggle a lot, but this is the the biggest uh, impact in defense. We go immediately with their uh, strength, uh, Mo, if you want Absolutely. to. Absolutely. So this is our game, Spezia, Juve. Uh, 31st minute, you have Verde there, who attracted Danilo. And you see uh, Bartolomei, who's not anymore with Spezia, he, he left. Uh, going in the space left there. You, there is a lot of space. And then Tancur is not in front of him. And Bonucci is far. But if Bonucci leaves, you have Nzola and Farias by themselves, you know, mm. with the, with the Mirab. So Bartolome got the ball and Bonucci still went there. Cuadrado tried to provide support. You have Nzola and Farias also going in, but they have a lot of space. You know, there's no covering. McKenny is trying to catch up. Bartolome, between Bonucci and Bentancur, was able to infiltrate the box. And he passed it to uh, Pobega. And we did not see Pobega. If you look at the previous uh, picture, he was not there. Yeah. Exactly. He was really, really far. And boom, all of a sudden, he's inside the box. And he scored. It's uh, it's quite funny because it all starts with the empty spaces here, like you explained. Here, Bobby Guy is totally not there. McKenny is, it, you know, it's one of the mistakes also of McKenny here, huh? because here is really totally alone. He's not man marking anybody. Uh, here you see, huh? he's not taking care of uh, Bobby Guy that is arriving and he's not taking care of Zola because he's already far away. So you see, uh, and then if I'm not wrong, it was a mini deflection by the Mirala. Huh? That's uh, correct. That's correct. And Arthur here also, he did not yeah. go on Bobby Guy. He was the closest. Another string they have? That's uh, uh, another example very similar. You have Agudelo who went back. He's He was one of the three players up front. He went back, that's against Milan, to take the ball from, from uh, their midfield and go back up. And he was able to dribble. You have Giazzi that's going on one side. You have Saponara on the other side and Maggiore uh, providing support. So you see now it became four-player mm. uh, support there against the three defenders of Milan. Giazzi did the same thing. He went all the way uh, to the right. He waited. He passed the ball to Agudelo. And Agudelo passed it to Maggiore. Again, same thing. Those midfielders are the most dangerous ones. They come from the back, infiltrate, and score. It's interesting to see because uh, now I understand why you highlighted Danilo and Bernardeschi, especially on the on the right side or their right side or left side, because uh, it's two actions totally similar where. Uh, from the moment you have an empty space, they are really quick to infiltrate and then go and uh, and find these last passes that uh, and not versus anybody. Eh? It's versus Juventus, it's versus Milan. So, yeah. but we have to pay attention to that. And how can we win, Mo? Yeah. So this is what uh, what I was saying about uh, their their defense. You see, they have these four defenders there. Uh, Ferrer Terzi, uh, Chavo, and Bastoni. And look, Morata is between the two defenders. So this is the key. We need a player who's between those defenders because they leave a lot of space. And Danilo, who's, who was our defender, look where he was. 
Bentancur was able to pass him the ball. So this is Danilo between their midfield and, and their defenders. And then McKenney was able to penetrate there, which was really smart. Danilo passed him the ball and it broke completely their defense. And Morata, he's by himself. No one went on him. Terzi should have been there and he was not able to catch him. And then and the score. And the we had to wait like, uh, I believe, five minutes before that they validated the goal with VAR. Yeah. I remember that goal. That's right. Another another opportunity. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So same thing. You see where Ronaldo is again between the two defenders, and this is what we need. And Morata was able to get the ball from Artur. We're gonna miss that pass from Artur, but Danilo can play that role also. He can provide those passes. Morata was crucial there because he could pivot. You know, he can take the ball and pass it. We're the, missing that with Kuluzewski. The nice thing is for people that don't re doesn't remember, Ronaldo just came back from COVID at that time. He entered at the 56th minute for Dybala. Yeah. Uh, he comes, the king, Il Re. Ure, exactly. he comes and uh, and he it. scores. So again, same thing. A lot of space between the defenders. Morata was smart. He provided the ball. Ronaldo was very smart too. You know, he stayed with the defenders. He did not go uh, in front of them. And boom, they easily broke the defense and Ronaldo scored. So that's what we need to do. Uh, we need to find someone to put between those defenders because there is a lot of space given. Hey, and hey, they're very slow. The question I ask you, Mo, if we know that Morata has minimal chances to be on the bench, minimal chances, uh, but even if he's there, he will not play from the start. We play with Kulusevski that is giving or trying to give a bit of support defensively. Who, who will be the man that will be able to do it? Ah, that's a very good point, and that's why, if you see at the beginning, I highlighted Ramsey. Because he's the one who sh who is supposed to provide those key passes. See, even if I try to, to fool Mo with a question, so the guy, he, he knows. He has an answer to every, everything. What, who's the threat? So, Giazzi, he's a, a threat. He's not the main goal scorer, but we saw... Uh, Those players that go on their right are dangerous because they go, they find the space, and then they pass back the ball. Mm. Uh, so he has three goals, three assists. He's he's really uh, interesting, uh, the Ghana player, you know. And here he is with his idol, Cristiano Ronaldo. A lot, a lot of people are fans of Cristiano Ronaldo. It's more easy to find someone who is not fan than uh, all the people that are, are fans. Absolutely. But, you know, Mo. Uh, you know, I take you all the time, all the time to go to the prediction time. Mo, what do you predict? Do it uh, good yeah. this time, Mo. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna predict a strong response from from you. Eh? Three zero. 3-0. That's a beautiful score. I don't know because uh, uh, I also expect a big, big answer. On the other hand, as you just mentioned, there is just one player that will change and it's Danilo because we don't have that much option. So uh, it will be a mental thing more than a tactical thing. So hopefully, hopefully mentally we are ready to to go for it and that we took a bit of energy because yeah. we played on Saturday. Uh, you had Sunday, a day of rest even if the Pirlo opened uh, the training sessions uh, Monday and, and they play tomorrow so let's see yeah. guys thank you for watching also something that I forgot but here here it is 11,400 thank you guys you are amazing you are just amazing thank you Mo for the preparation we see each other probably tomorrow with the morning news if I have time because I have a lot of things to prepare because then we see each other uh, on the Juventus Twitch channel for the pregame, two hours together from 7 p.m. We will do a lot of nice things. We will, you will even be able to predict what kind of lineup we will go. Maybe the one of Mo, maybe the one that will be really close of the one of Sky or Gazeta. Let's see. Thank you, Mo. Thank you to all of you. And as per tradition, Mo, you close the channel. Ciao, buddy.
Ciao. So thank you everyone. I hope you like this one. Uh, it's uh, it's tough times for Juve, but we never give up. We have to fight till the end, and we never let Juve down. No matter what, we always support Juve. Fino alla fine, guys.